feels nice to be filming relatively close to when I'm going to be uploading. The last two vlogs were filmed a good month or so before they went up because the summer holidays happened and lots of you said don't worry just get them up after the holidays. There was a big gap between uploads. Feels good to be filming something more up to date. Hello. We need to get you some breakfast. Thanks. No grand plans today but I thought it would be nice to hang out um, before the start of Vlogtober. Do you want some help with that? I might venture out today. I've been a bit of a hermit the last few weeks, so it might be nice to get out the house. We do have a sponsor for today's vlog, who I will talk about um, in a bit. I didn't want any of you thinking I was just vlogging today because of that. I was going to film this vlog anyway, and I chose to do it in this one in an attempt to space out other sponsorships next month so I don't have too many um, too close to each other. But mainly vlogging today because it's sort of been a long time since we've just hung out where nothing nothing much has been happening. Just um, hang out at home mostly but then the next time I see you will be Vlogtober which I'm very excited about. I know lots of you are very excited about. I can feel myself getting distracted and wanting to um, wanting to natter. I need to get my breakfast sorted, get her ready for school. Hello? Mummy, can you put that on the telly, please? Go get your shoes on. You want the camera then? Yeah. I don't know why I always think I've got enough time in the morning to do our usual getting ready and start a vlog. It's Harvest Festival today. Yeah. One day we did the drama day where we uh, wear the dramas to school and we wear the dramas in the classroom. I think I vlogged that day <laughs> when you wore your pajamas into school last year. Let's get you off to school. Not allowed to do that. Always forgetting to bring the milk in. Do you remember to bring that in when I get back? I think this will be one of the last days of summer dresses, and we'll be changing into winter uniforms soon. Mornings like today make me so happy. Uh, the weather's started to get a bit chillier so it's really fresh and a little bit nippy outside but the sun is shining blue skies it's just the best it's my um my favorite time of year i came upstairs to talk about today's sponsor i've been using this wild deodorant for well over a month now they're a brand that i've seen a lot online and have been one of those brands that I've thought I'd love to work with at some point. Now some of you may remember I worked with another sustainable deodorant brand a few months back. However, they no longer ship to the UK so as much as I liked them I can't get hold of the product anymore. So I swapped over to Wild about like six, six, seven weeks ago now. Biggest selling point for me I'm thinking you probably won't be able to see me if I put you there. Mm. Biggest selling point for me is the refillable aluminium case. You wouldn't believe how long it took me to decide which colour I wanted. Um, I ended up going for pink. I'll show you how it works. It came in this box along with my refills. So when you want to change it, you wind it down to the bottom. You push these buttons in at the side and it comes apart like that. So the one that I have been using the last couple of weeks is Orange Zest, but the one that I was using before that is the Sandalwood and Patchouli, and the other one that I'm yet to use is the Coconut Dreams. I'm thinking if I bring you over here I can show you a bit better. Oh, these bags are, um, are all my summer clothes. I've been having a bit of a sort this week, putting my summer clothes in bags ready to go into the attic. I'm going to switch back to sandalwood and patchouli. I love orange zest because it smells very fresh. It's not strong, it's not overpowering. It keeps your underarms smelling great all day, but it's not one of those strong scents you kind of get wafts of every day, if that makes sense. You simply put the refills on top like that, and then you click your case back into place and you're done, you're good to go. And it just twists up like that. This one's my favorite for this time of year because I find it quite, it's quite a cosy scent. I have a patchouli candle, which is one of my favourites, and it reminds me of that. And then the coconut one is lovely too. It's quite vanilla-y, um, but again, it's subtle, and I can just change them up when I feel like it. Just like our compostable coffee pods, 
when we're done with those we stick them in the compost we can do the exact same for these which is um something something quite satisfying about that i have to say this is the first aluminium sulfate free sustainable deodorant i have found that doesn't dry out. I found in the past that sometimes the stick deodorants can dry out and um, I, I've got really sensitive armpits and the last thing I want to do is be dragging deodorant on my underarms. I want it to be smooth and creamy and glide over my underarms and this hasn't dried out. I'll leave a link in the description and of course I have a discount code. You use the code Rhiannon. Um, it's an easy one to remember. Then you'll get 20% off your first order. And it's really easy. You go on there, you pick your pick your case, you can get it engraved with your name if you would like, and then you pick your refills. As I said, I'll leave um discount code and link in the description. I need to decide what I'm going to do for the rest of the morning. I can't decide whether to head out now or do some bits. I need to get done on my computer and then go out later after lunch. It's been so long since I've vlogged, I feel a little thrown off. I, I'm finding myself thinking, right, what shall I do for the vlog? Instead of just going about my normal business and filming that. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm catching up with an old friend and I want to tell you everything and show you everything. Um, I need to pace myself. I need to breathe, compose. I've decided I'm going to get out now. Sometimes I think it's nice to get out earlier on in the day, get some fresh air. I'm aware that I have filmed myself talking here, getting my bags ready, going out, taking Delia to school <laughs> and, and, and everything else in between so much. Maybe I'm aware of it because it's been a couple of months since I've properly vlogged and so part of me feels this pressure of this having to be a really good vlog but then I think this is just the same content you all tuned into before <laughs> and I was having to think about this yesterday because I can feel that I'm probably going to be very chatty in this vlog I mean my vlogs are still very chatty but over the last couple of years I found myself reining it in a little bit so I can make the vlogs a bit more chippy choppy and to the point I guess so I feel like they're more entertaining but then I was thinking about this yesterday I had a pep talk with myself and said to myself you know how many vloggers do I watch for example Megan Grubb who just natters away for most of the vlog um, and it's just her talking and I love watching her videos and funny enough I watched one of her vlogs yesterday where she mentioned the same thing about how she feels like her content is boring but then actually it's the content she loves watching the most and that her audience like watching the most. It's funny that she said that in that vlog because that's what I was thinking about me um, and I know that I like to watch that content and you guys like to watch that content so I don't know why us YouTubers worry so much especially for this vlog i'm not going to worry too much i might natter even more than i usually do just to help me get back into the groove of vlogging it's the same with vlogtober and vlogmas the other day i was thinking oh, are people really going to want to watch us make a wreath again go pumpkin picking again it's the same thing we do year after year um but then when you think about it this time of year i find for me anyway it's very much about traditions and comfort. I can't speak for all of you, I'm sure there are um, some of you that do get bored of the same Vlogtober and Vlogmas um, vlogs. And I'm not saying any of this to um, make you feel like you have to write in the comments, oh no, but we, we love your videos, we love you. Um, this is just, I'm just having a bit of a brain dump. I'm just up to summon a chat. I think about how we will watch the same Christmas films every year, we'll watch the same like holiday, love actually, we'll eat the same things, we'll do the same things like picking a tree, putting decorations up. It doesn't make it any less fun because we've done it for however many years before, it's just a comfort that you find joy from and it's a tradition. Yeah, when I thought about it like that I thought, well actually I don't think, I think people expect to see certain content, especially like the rap with me videos, I'm already getting people watching my rap with me's who are watching rap with me videos in September. I don't know how I got onto that. I think it was because I feel like um, this is very samey the start of this vlog. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to like step my feet back into the waters, and um, so excited about Vlogtober. So excited. I'm taking my tote bag with me because I need to get some food. The vlogs make it look like all I 
all I do is go out, get coffee, buy flowers, do food shop. <laughs> As I said earlier, I have, oh, this is a new spot for me to vlog. I've never, never vlogged, never vlogged here before. Currently on top of the shoe rack. Funny the things you do when you vlog. I would never normally sit in the middle of the hallway putting my shoes on, but here we are. Yeah, my anxiety among other things, which I want to talk about in another video at some point and maybe i'll um i did want to have a bit of a heart to heart soon maybe i'll do that later on in this vlog my anxiety the last I'd say couple of months really has been bad even for me i found myself not um not going out as much I haven't actually been to pilates or any group workout classes for um the past couple of weeks I haven't actually ventured into town by myself and just mooched around done some bits i need to do and then i might even just have a little look in i might just venture into waterstones and have a look at the books maybe even lush because they've got some new bits out and, oh, getting sidetracked see this is the, usually the stuff i'll edit out um but i'm a little bit all over the place today i'm we're gonna go with it i'm saying something what was i saying it's really affected my tummy i mean my tummy's always been quite um sensitive always prone to i mean most days i'm bloat I, I feel really bloated and uncomfortable um but the last month oh honestly i'm amazed i'm wearing jeans today spent most of last week in leggings because all my jeans were too uncomfortable this is a new cardigan that i bought recently from Bowden. i was put in an order through for delilah and um, for just a couple of a couple of um autumn winter bits when i spotted this so so soft and there are some days where i just some days I can toler tolerate slightly itchy knitwear and there are other days where I just want something that feels soft and, um, and cosy. I wonder how many times I'm going to say cosy in the next um, in the next six months. Ever so slightly scalloped, which I thought was pretty. I really like that the buttons match the cardigan. And I've tucked mine in because it's quite long on me. It just looks much nicer. Um, much nicer tucked it in. This rubber plant, a year ago it was half the size and um, now started to cover up the mirror. <laughs> I would say it's almost identical to the Cezanne. I've always done this thing where I'll not read something properly or I'll assume something is pronounced a certain way and then I realise however many weeks, months, years later that that isn't what that thing is remotely called or it's not how it's pronounced. Is it Cezanne or Cezanne? Cezanne sounds weird. I think it's Cezanne. There's a cardigan that they do. I've seen it on so many people. I bought it last year. I bought the cream one and it just it was just too it was too big for me. I think the neckline's meant to be quite um big anyway. It completely came off my shoulders. It just it was unwearable and it was huge on me. I reluctantly had to send it back because um, it just wasn't going to work. I feel like this is a very similar cardigan. Of course, I'll leave a link to it and I think they do a few other colours. I'm tempted to see what other colours they do. Bag is and other stories from about three years ago, but they still they still sell this bag, so I can link that as well. And then I got the old Levi's. I would really like to find a pair that isn't um, a raw hem. Let's not look at my trainers. They're my superhergers, which are filthy. I'm so torn with these because I love them and I have lived in them. I've lived in them all summer. Problem is, can you see here? This has come apart from the shoe. It's happened on both sides. And that, it does tend to happen on trainers. It's happened on, oh, kind of fall over. It's happened on my Converse as well. It took a lot longer for that to happen to my Converse. And when it did, it wasn't really a problem. Whereas they're very, they're very gapy. And when I stand still, you can still see the gap. So I'm really torn because I love them. So I'd happily buy another pair in the future when these completely fall apart. But at the same time, I think, well, is it worth it if they're going to fall apart so soon? Anyway, <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. Shall I actually leave? Because I said I was going to leave the house about 20 minutes ago. I'm going to have a look in Waterstones. Although I've told myself I'm just going to look and I'm not going to buy. <laughs> Done. There really were only a few bits that we needed for dinner tonight.
wasn't out for long but it felt really nice to get out even if it was for like half an hour i'm feeling quite windswept it's really windy but it's gorgeous i've said it I've, oh, I've already said it but it is such a lovely day i don't know why i'm putting these back on my head i don't need them anymore i restrained from buying any new books but i did buy a couple of bits in lush i've got a fair few books on my wish list that are currently out in hardback um, but I really don't like reading hardback. I've got a list on my phone of books that I would like to get once they are released in paperback. There was one I saw today called Freckles, um, which I really like the look of. I bought myself one of these ghost bath bombs, and then I bought this one for Delilah to have over the weekend. Let's not talk about Lord of Miss Rule. They've changed it this year, and it's, it's, it's not the same. It's not the same. I didn't buy one today. Usually every year I stock up on loads. Gonna have some lunch, do a few bits on my computer. I was really hoping the paint samples would come today um, for Delilah's room, but um, I don't think they're gonna be coming anytime soon, but it would be nice to show you those. Um, there's lots of bits. I don't know what it is about this time of year that um, makes me want to do lots around the house. Well, I say lots, the odd bit. Um, a few bits um, that we're going to be doing around the house over the next few months. That'll be fun to vlog. I've just been sat here filling out the description for the vlog that I'm going to upload tonight, Delilah's birthday. Uh, it's about time I uploaded it. Making the most of it still being warm enough and enjoying my iced coffee before it is no longer iced coffee season. Uh, these photos, I need to um, find a frame for them. Doug and I went to London for the weekend, just us two, to celebrate our nine year anniversary. And we took these at the Hoxton where we stayed. You know I love a photo booth opportunity. It's nice to get some photos of us because um, we rarely take photos together actually um, yeah i need to find a frame for those i have done everything i need to do before i get delilah i wanted to um i wanted to have a quick chat for a little while now i've wanted to have a bit of a heart to heart i haven't got long i've only got about 10 15 minutes until i need to get I'm just, i keep wanting to say squidge and can i still call her squidge now she is five years old we always called her that when she was little because she was a school witch she was a squid. Just wanted to say, I don't feel forced to have to talk about anything. Don't want anyone to think I'm, I'm justifying myself against those people who watch my vlogs for the sake of, I guess, hate watching. They don't like anything about what I do. It's the same for every every vlogger and um, there will always be those that watch you that don't like you or nitpick at everything um, but will still continue to watch every single video this isn't me justifying myself to those people this is me just wanting to have a um a chat to those of you who may have felt this year that i've maybe become a bit distant and this is all now, see, I mentioned this on Instagram and lots of you said you don't seem distant at all. But I had some messages back in the summer from genuine followers, from people who yeah, have been around for a long time. They weren't mean, they weren't malicious, they didn't, they had no ill intent, I promise. Um, but it, they, were, they, were, they were saying that I was a bit disconnected that the only content I was uploading were ads, especially on Instagram. I yeah, I don't not upload on Instagram because I can't be bothered. Um, again, I'm not gonna go into all the ins and outs of stuff. I'm gonna have a proper um, chat about um, mental health and where I'm at at a later point. This is why I hate having these kind of talks because I know exactly what I want to say. I'll go over and over it in my head. Then when it comes to it, I completely mind blank. What was I saying? Cannot remember what I was saying. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> so with Instagram, um, I I struggle with I struggle with a few things that stop me. Um, so I kind of want to go into it all now, but I'm not going to because then that just opens cans of worms that I feel like I have to then talk more about because um, there are people that are going to judge you whatever you say on the internet. So I guess it doesn't matter. You know, I could say absolutely nothing about something someone's going to judge me for it and those same people will judge me even if i over explain myself to them because they've just already decided that they don't like you i have let my perfectionism get the better of me with instagram i've always been like it 
but the last handful of years it's just got, it's gotten so bad to the, point, to the point where I don't post and it's ridiculous and I'm really trying to I'm really trying to get over that and then also I struggle with just taking photos of myself which you know when you're a youtuber and you're doing instagram and, and things that's it's it's tricky and then when the only posts that i upload in the space of three months are, are all ads i completely understand where people are coming from when it can seem like i don't care and i'm just doing it for the ad the same with youtube but not so much because i'm up, i you know upload a bit more on youtube and um I, I do have ads lined up for october I would never ever want anyone to think that I'm just doing Vlogtober because I have sponsors, not at all. I was gonna do Vlogtober and um, it just so happens that there's lots of, seems to be a lot of sponsored work for YouTube lately. Not so much Instagram, um, but all YouTube. But then I know lots of you don't mind and that only, you know, I can upload a 20, 30, 40, 50 minute vlog sometimes. It only takes up two minutes of the video. So I know most of you don't care. I'm losing my train of thought again and I've got five minutes, I've got five minutes. I had a couple of people and it really, it bothered me because they weren't the people that were messaging and saying, oh, I remember like this and that and that. Um, though, you know, those people I can kind of brush off, but it felt like, it felt like I had a really close friend or a few friends messaging me saying, hey, Rhiannon, you don't quite seem yourself. And this is me wanting to say i'm so sorry if any of you also felt like that and i know lots of you don't if any of you ever th thought that i didn't care or that i disappear for a few weeks and i don't say anything about it and it comes across as a bit or well, again like i don't care please know that that is so far from the truth i it, it, it all comes down to my um my brain i struggle more than i let on even in the past when i have spoken about um my mental health mental illness still i still never really let on too much about it and yeah i have like anxiety i've spoken about a lot but there is a lot there's a lot more um that i'm dealing with and it's kind of it's gone untreated i haven't had the right help all these years that it's it's kind of it's, it's got worse finally feeling like i'm getting somewhere this year and i'm looking forward to talking to you about it and the only reason now i really do need to be quick now i know lots of you liked me being open about my mental health i don't feel like i have to share this i don't feel pressured in sharing um about this kind of this kind of stuff i would never talk about something if i didn't feel comfortable talking about it but i guess my reason for um not mentioning it so much as the years have gone by i get when i think about it i think it's more of a a coping mechanism and a way to protect myself from people the judgy people of the internet the people that would say that i'm moaning and how and saying that i think i have a hard life yeah or those that remind me how other people have it worse than me it's funny you tell people that you, you you're struggling and um, I mean, you could give them a details or no details and um, some people will always sort of say that you're making it up or I don't know. When really, if someone says that they're struggling, they're, they're struggling. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't matter what someone else thinks. Like, no one has the right to tell someone how they feel. I guess over the years, that was my way of thinking, well, I can't be dealing with those comments. I shouldn't have to prove myself to anyone. And I also didn't want to come across like I was complaining. And so I kind of shut, I just kind of stopped ever mentioning stuff like that so much without even realizing. Um, and also when I would go away for a few weeks at a time, well, one I kind of felt like it's weird because I, I know that lots of people do care and I feel really bad because I know that a lot of people watch my videos for comfort. And when I disappear, I feel really terrible that I've let people down and I let myself down and let my head get the better of me and there's, there's all this stuff surrounding it I really need to go but um the other part of me thinks well no one really cares I've been away for a few weeks and I saw um no one needs to hear me say oh I'm back now um yeah I had a really bad you know really bad couple weeks or so of it mentally and then like you know no one needs to hear that again and again and again so I guess I just sort of stopped I didn't want to just keep giving the same explanation because then people would go, 
Oh, that old excuse again. I'm sorry if anyone felt that I was distant and that wasn't the case. And like I said, I, I feel really close to lots of you and I didn't want any genuinely lovely followers to ever feel like that. So that, that's what I wanted to say on that. I'm probably now gonna overthink everything that I just said. I don't know if that was incredibly vague and made no sense. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go pop a lid on this. Go get Delilah. No doubt she'll want to go to the park. We've just been to the park car. The pool. I'm gonna have a ice cream. <laughs> it's hot, isn't it, today? Yeah. It's really warmed up. I'm gonna go wash my hands because I've been at the park. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Hello, I'm gonna go to sleep after my vision <laughs> Give me the camera. No. Look, this is my vlog. You're not Adley. This is my channel, you pickle. <laughs> Just say no, okay? Just say no. No. Please. <laughs> no. Please. No. Your dinner's gonna burn, you're not gonna get anything to eat. Okay. <laughs> you can probably guess it's been a few hours um, since we got home. I've just taken my makeup off because it got to that point of the day where I thought I just need to get this off my face. Delilah just had a bath and a hair wash so she's all lovely and clean. I think I've got a bit of a wet patch from her hair. <laughs> I've been doing the usual Friday sort of her school bag and uniform in wash and poli polishing shoes so that they're all ready for the start of next week. Oh, these aren't coming out of the grout too well. <laughs> oh, it's a good job we need to redo it. Delilah has these um, these bath crayons. They're great. Um, and I don't know whether it's just our grout is really old, but um, if she draws it in the grout, it doesn't really come up. But yeah, I mean, it comes off the tiles easily. Get my super cool washing up gloves on. <laughs> I need to get on and start doing um doing our dinner. Oh, that is that is risky. I say this following on from what I spoke about earlier. I'm, just, I'm feeling really nauseous. I'm not going to make it a point to say every time I don't feel great, physically or mentally, because that would be every vlog. But I think it's good to talk about this every now and again, um, because I know that it helps a lot of you that have the same. Um, struggles, I hate to call it, I don't like to call them struggles, but you know what I mean. But also, I think there's a there's a big stigma still, I think we're getting better, but there's still a big stigma around mental health and also a lot, a lot of people are unaware of the physical effects of, no, the, yeah, the physical, oh, <laughs> the physical effects, that's it, that's my brain, that's the last little bit of my working brain gone. The, the effects that your mind, the effects, yeah, the effects your mind can have on your body. I'm not going to get into all of that now, but um, tummy issues is a big thing. I, I've, I've really, I mean, as I said earlier, I've really struggled with it. Oh, I've really struggled with it the last month. I'm still eating everything I would. I'm just um, struggling to enjoy it and, and feel like really hungry because I've just got this constant kind of sicky kind of reflux feeling. Anywho, I'll stop going on about all that stuff now. But yeah, like I do think it is good to talk about it every now and again. And this candle, by the way, it's from Boy Smells. It smells incredible and is right up my street. I bought it after seeing, I want to say Lizzie Had Hadfield. It was either in a vlog or Instagram. Probably got her name wrong, but um, she mentioned how everyone loves the smell of that candle whenever they whenever they visit her house and I thought let's give that a go. I'm gonna get on with dinner. I finally, finally, finally the other day put all the clip clippings, you call them clippings? Oh 
the pages that I pulled out of my old cooking magazines I've had laying around for the best, oh, the lighter went really strange there, for the best part of probably about four years. I used to be, I think most of these are from the old Jamie Oliver magazine. I bought these folders a long, long time ago. You can see how old some of these pieces of paper are. They've gone brown. <laughs> I finally put them in this folder. And do you know what I really like about this? Because they are all recipes that we like. There's no sort of going like, a you know with a recipe book, you have to go through it and through it to find something you'd like to make. With this, I know that we're gonna like anything that's in here. Tonight, I'm going to make, and I made it the other week, and um, it was really yummy. Where is it? Oh, here it is. This veggie stir fry with ginger and spicy peanut sauce. Of course I forgot to buy broccoli. I, I swear that there is always one thing I will miss, but I have a feeling we should have some broccoli in the fridge. I'm gonna get the tofu ready and the sauce, and then I can do everything else once um, I've tucked this little one up in bed. The M&S Plant Kitchen Tofu is my favorite. I never thought I would see the day that I liked tofu, let alone had a favorite um, brand of tofu. Tofu was always something I wanted to like and I never did, but I, at some point last year, I just kept trying it and I enjoyed it. I couldn't eat too much because it would make me feel a bit I sort of liked it a bit um, and then the more I've eaten it the more I've liked it but I always found so I always bought tofu is that the brand the, it comes in a cardboard um, packet giving you my life story about tofu I'm sure you all wanted to know about this I'm trying to figure out whether I should have the recipe I did the recipe it serves four and I did that last time because it made a really good lunch to heat up the next day should I do oh courgette how did I miss that? I couldn't get courgette either. How is it getting dark already? The longest day of the year is in June. And I feel like you don't really notice the evenings getting, or the days getting shorter until about now, sort of mid-September. And all of a sudden, you really notice it starting to get dark at seven and not nine o'clock. Anyway, <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked. I really need to um, get Delilah's hair dried. Oh, yes, tofu. I could enjoy the other tofu if I made sure I um, cooked it so it was a bit crispy and just made sure I didn't have too much of it because if I had too much, it would make me feel a bit sick. And I can't tell whether I've just got used to tofu now and if I had that tofu, I would enjoy it just as much or whether it's the M&S tofu that for some reason I really like it and it seems to agree with me because I can have that simply just warmed up a little bit in a curry um, and I can have lots of it and I really enjoy eating it and it doesn't make me feel sick. I'm thinking this vlog has probably gone on long enough. Um, shall I, I try and, I'll try and show you quickly. The sauce is peanut butter, sweet chili sauce, I've got mango chutney or something, I'm sure you could use that. We use a lot of soy soy, 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 soy sauce in this house and hence the gigantic bottle. We need 40 grams of the peanut butter. Grams. Oh, mussels! We need 40 grams of peanut butter. Can I put it in? Oh, perfect. Can I let Excuse me. Pre-dinner. Pre-dinner. Pre-bedtime snack. Uh, one tablespoon of this. Can you hold that and then I'll... Oh. Yeah. Let's go upstairs and dry your hair and get into bed. Get in 
far too big to carry. Oh yeah. my goodness. Oh my goodness. No, that preferably I'd like to be able to see. <laughs> Bye -bye. No, seriously, other. I don't like about the dark <laughs> evenings. There's something about having more light in the summer that makes I you feel like you have more time, I even though technically <laughs> makes no difference. I'm watching the sunset. We're watching the sunset. Oh, it's not as pretty as it was last night, is it? Last night it was beautiful. It was super pink, wasn't it? Oh, My least yeah. favourite thing about the evenings you getting darker quicker that. is vlogging with artificial lights just not look as nice I need to get this pickle some pajamas I like the state of her room <laughs> her room was tidy a couple of days ago it is not anymore quite a So many times I've gone to vlog today and Delilah's taken the camera and on her own vlogging I'll just try and get a few like just now I just tried to get just a, just a few seconds to put in between now and the next clip she keeps taking the camera and doing her own thing <laughs> on the side to add again at the end I'm not sure if I've done enough for all the veggies in here minus the courgette that I forgot to get there's some chopped up ginger I'm gonna add some turmeric which I'm turmeric's not something I associate with stir fry but it just it just works I'm gonna add a teaspoon of that if any of you want to make this probably easier if I just let you screenshot the recipe. Here are the ingredients and this is the um, instructions. Serving this with rice, you could mix in the rice. Add the stir fry. I'm going to add a bit of hot water just to loosen it up. I'm just going to top with, top with some peanuts. This is a little bit risky. This is why I could never, never uh, be a waitress. Okay. What are we going to watch? All summer there was not really much to watch. And now all of a sudden, there's so many things to watch. Finished season three of Sex. Sex. Sex education earlier on this week, which is so good. I don't know if, do any of you know if there's going to be another season? Do you know if there's going to be another season? No. I feel no, like I they could have, they could, I feel no, like they could either idea. leave it like that or they could come back to another one. I'd quite like another season. Bake Off is back and um, we've got a few, we've got quite a few things on our list on Netflix which are coming out um, throughout the next month or two i think this evening we're going to start the morning show as always i hope you enjoyed the vlog i will see you in the next one and it will be the start of vlogtober i will see you on the second of october bye goodbye